If you need a daily dose of cuteness, you're going to want to stick around here because we're joined now by Cheryl from Occupaz. Of I'm course, not Cheryl. The cute part. I was going. To, I was referring to you, not the dog. But <laughs> thanks for being here. It's so good to see you again. And it's, it's been great to be out and about again. Yeah, yeah it's been, been a long right time. Right down here. Been a long time since we've had you in the studio. So, how's Occupaz doing these days, post pandemic? We are, you know, like everyone, we're coming out of this and kind of trying to return to things mm -hmm. as they were. Mm -hmm. um, it's especially good for the dogs right. um, because as puppies the most important thing we do for them is what we call socializing them right and that means they need to be out and about and seeing people and going to the store and you know waiting in lines and things that didn't happen for a very long time kind of sounds like things humans need too. <laughs> don't we all right. exactly yeah. yeah maybe minus the waiting in line part <laughs> yeah so who's your furry friend here? Yeah, yeah, well, here's our very curious Karma, apparently. Karma. Karma is her name. And um, with uh, Occupaws, since we are dealing with a lot of dogs, mm -hmm. we do the litters by letters of the alphabet. Right. So that we know that all of the K puppies are, sure. I think she's about four and a half months old right now. Okay. Um, which is very helpful for us to be able to quickly identify where should they be right. socially, developmentally, who needs rabies shots yeah. um, that right. is all age de dependent and, right. and helpful to have that indicator for us. So this is karma. And, and Occupaz does such a fantastic job of vetting the dogs and making sure that the dogs that end up as service dogs really are cut out for the work. Yeah. And so tracking the progress, I imagine, would be really important. Right, and right. knowing how old they are is an important component yeah. of tracking the progress. I'm actually really glad to see her curious like this because she is right. so sweet and docile. Yeah. Which is something that we look for depending sure. on what person she would end up with. But um, they need to have a little bit of this curiosity right, too yeah. or they can't be leaders. They can't right. guide. So right. yay karma. Exactly. <laughs> I love playing with their ears. I love playing with their ears. Um, what is, what is uh, Occupaz's biggest need right now? Razors. Um, we need not shaving razors, razors but no. to raise the puppies. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, puppy razors wanted. Yeah. Um, you know, during the pandemic, everyone wanted a dog. Everyone sure. wanted a pet. Everybody had to stay at home so they could be with these guys all the time. Right. Well, as we're coming out of all of that, and people are going back into the workplace and being able to engage in other activities. It's hard, my daughter, for instance, who is a raiser, now needs to be in the office, what, 60% of the time. Right, and she's yeah. got a, luckily her dog is older, so it can spend more time mm -hmm. by itself. Sure. Um, but that's what we really need, just as it's affected all pet owners as right. we come out post-pandemic, we need people who can be with puppies. Right. <laughs> and I, I think it's an important distinction to make that a puppy raiser is different from a puppy trainer. So what is what is a puppy raiser and who can become a puppy raiser? Right. Um, thank you for that distinction mm -hmm. also because if they make it to the point of going to guide dog college, mm -hmm. those are the people who do all of the the training. The, the tough stuff. Right, yeah. Um, as a raiser, as I said before, you just have them out and about and experiencing life and being a happy, well-adjusted, polite puppy. Right. Let's put it polite puppy. Right. And to be a raiser, I always say you need to love puppies mm -hmm. and have a lot of patience. Yeah. Because that's what they take. That's what but it takes. To do it, actually, I would just encourage anyone to go to occupaws.org and yeah. you'll see really easily there are I think it's a couple of quick forms to fill out, which I think you can do online now. And then somebody comes out to the house just to see that this is going right. to work. Right. And um, then you're off to the races. So try to give, give them a normal life as a dog, basically, is what a right. razor's job right. is. Right. And yeah. we have razors who have other dogs. And we have sure. um, this puppy has a baby in the family who is her absolute favorite thing in the whole world right now. So there <laughs> isn't too much that can keep. The only thing that would keep you out is if you also have your own puppy. Up to oh, about a year. Yeah. We don't want to try to have two, two puppies. Puppies, but yeah. that's the only one I can think of. That okay. Would... Okay. Anybody else? It's fair game, though. So yeah. 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 Uh, any upcoming events that you want to talk about? We got about a minute left here today. Right. So we're able to start doing those things right. again. Um, I would say out at uh, Shoebox. Brats. Mm -hmm. We sell brats out there. I think July 10th is the next time we're going to be out there. Okay. You never know when you show up uh, for the farmer's market. Uh, we're usually at one of the corners of the square, so okay. you'll see dogs and razors there. Um, and 
I see that just the other day I was shopping, I was at Hilldale and I saw it actually turns out that it was this girl's sister who was out really? with a razor. So you'll see us just about anywhere. Really? And that dog we're hoping is maybe, maybe going to become a mama dog. Okay. Um, because we have an in-house breeding program, but sure. three litters and they're done. Right. Um, and so we have a couple of mama dogs who are having their third litter. Sure. So, so they're about, they're yeah. about done. Did yeah. they recognize each other? Did they, she recognize her sister? Or? I, well, I didn't have her with me. Oh, you did I just okay. found out when I picked okay. her up that I had seen her sister. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well, Cheryl from Occupaz, thank you so much for joining us here today. If you want to get involved, go to their website, find out how you can become a puppy raiser or donate. And we'll be back after the break. Stick around.